Okay, I am back. I want to call this video, oh my gosh, we have an exam. How do I get ready for it? So, you know, all of you have taken math classes before because you had to suffer through high school. And I'm going to be real honest, I used to teach high school. High school math tests aren't hard. But the real message about it is that your high school teachers never taught you how to study for a uh, math test. They'd give you a packet and you'd work your way through it and you think, man, I did all those problems. I'm ready. Here's the packet. And really, honestly and truly, that was only half the story. Because if there was a problem or two on the packet that you didn't know how to do, the teachers didn't give you the opportunity to work on another one like it or to make to learn what you were missing. Um, they were just like, oh, you didn't do that one right. And then when you took the test, oh, you probably didn't get those problems either, right either. So here's what I'm going to suggest to you. You all are you are all adults. I apologize, my tongue is not working today. You are all adults, and so this is your choice. But this is how I would study for a test. For example, I'm looking here at the text, the online textbook that's in our my lab, and I've come down to this is just in one A, just the very first section. And notice here is a quick quiz. And they give you some problems that you can check your understanding with. And the answers to the quick quiz are in the back of the book. And so you go and you take the quick quiz and you check your answers. Now, what happens when you get one right? You should be okay. If you get them wrong, when you get a problem wrong, you need to go back and look in the back in the section of the book reread it, see what their examples are, and then come in to these problems down here and do a bunch of problems. Okay, you have all the odd answers. Do a bunch of problems. If you do all the odd ones and still want to do more problems, do the even ones. I can give you the answers to the even ones because I have the answers to the even ones. So do these problems. Practice them, practice them, practice them. Practice them until you feel comfortable. You do a problem, you know how to do it. It's not like, oh, I've got a guess. Oh, I'm not quite sure. Each, pro each type of problem that you do, you go in, you do a bunch of them. You're like, yeah, I know how to do this. Okay, I know many of you are or were athletes. You didn't get to where you were or are as an athlete by sitting there go reading a book and going, or, or watching someone else do the sport and then going, yeah, I can do that. Okay, you had to practice. You had to do those things over and over and over again. Uh, for those of you who are in academic decathlon, for those of you who are in debate club, for those of you who are in plays, you all were successful in those activities because you practiced and you did the things over and over and over and over and over again. Math is no different. Math is no different. The only difference is, is you probably don't have a passion for math like you had a passion uh, for the thing that you did uh, in a previous life and that you practiced so hard to do. Okay. But the results will be the same. If you will practice math over and over and over and over and over again, um, when you take the test, it won't be hard because you've put in the work to do it. You know how to do it. The reason why math tests are hard is not because you can't do math. It's because you haven't practiced enough to do it. I cannot go to a Major League Baseball game and try and hit a baseball successfully. I promise you, I will not be able to do that because I have not practiced enough to do that. But I've watched lots of baseball games. Okay, I love baseball. I have baseball jerseys. But because I have not practiced over and over and over and over and over again, I can't do it. Okay, but I can do math because I have practiced over and over and over and over and over and over again. Probably too much. <laughs> You're like, wow, this guy has no luck. Maybe so, but I can do math. So that is my pep talk to you. You all can do it. Do not panic. Just take this as a challenge. I have a challenge. Go through, figure out the problems you don't know how to do, and then get help with them. Second thing, if there's a problem that you can't do, let's say you're stuck, you don't know what the next step is, okay, we're going to have two things available to us. One, in the discussion forum, I am going to post one of these discussion forums, and it's going to say something like questions you have about the test, 
the questions you have about this type of problem. And you're going to post those problems. And it's not required. It's purely optional. But we are going to be able to... What was that? Ooh. Text from my wife. She says, hurry it up. I'm going too long. Okay. We'll have a discussion forum. Post your problems that you don't know how to do. I'll come on and help you or someone else will come on and help you. We'll make sure that you know how to do those problems. Okay. Um, you can also email me or hit me with a message on Remind and ask me your questions. I'm happy to set up a Zoom meeting to work with you on problems that you don't know how to do. What I'm saying is, is there's plenty of options for you to learn how to do the math that you don't know, that you're unsure of. Take them, and I promise you, you will get the grade that you want to get. Okay? All right, I'm ranting now. I'm going to stop. Hey, you all can do this. I know you can. Okay? You can do it. You can do it. Don't panic. You can do it. All right. See ya.